G'day guys, welcome to the Yenai Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and I'm back today with Dan the Man and it has been such a very long time since we've done one of these videos. I think it's actually been two years. Two years between drinks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Anyhow, today we're going to do another one of the makeup nonsense bingo that Emily Han Han created quite some time ago now. Teresa is Dead has been involved in doing these videos with Emily and a lot of other influencers. We enjoy doing it. It's something that we can do together and you can also get on board too if you want to go to either Emily Han Han or Teresa is Dead's the channel i will leave all the links down below and you can join into the game as well it is really really fun let's get into the video guys so the way that we're going to work it is that we've been given five bingo cards and we have picked number four today um and we have 45 uh makeup items look it's been a while since I've done this, so I grabbed 45 of the most current um, makeup uh, items that have been released, so they might not be as uh, updated as some of uh, Teresa's and Emily's in their upcoming video, but they are to me, so let's have a uh, bit of a game and um, and see what we pull up. So we have a random generator, and let's get started. Sorry. All right. So the first one is number three. Well, there we go. All right, so this is a new brand that's been launched. This is Harry Styles. Um, and yeah, it looks like that he is releasing some uh, nail polishes and uh, what else? And yeah, nail polish is called Pleasing. Okay. Okay. All right, they kind of remind me of like grandma's pearls. <laughs> um, okay. Well, Something I'd play with on a chess set. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We also have something called the pleasing pen. It kind of sounds like a sex toy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. This is uh, yeah. an eye gel. Did they mean that though? Probably. Yeah. Probably. And um, we have the pearlescent illuminating serum. This looks okay. It looks a little looks grandma. Different. Yeah, it looks a little grandma to me. Um, it's for all skin types, so I'm not illuminating. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to do. Um, I don't know. Is that an actual cutaway or just marketing? No. <laughs> I, I think there's actual pearls in it. I don't. Okay. Yeah, I think they might be dissolving pearls. I'm not exactly sure. All right. Okay, so uh, this is this is interesting. Um, I'm not excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not excited about this. This kind of... This, yeah, this is a little odd. Um, it really, it really looks kind of grandma-ish to me. Um, I don't know what to feel about this. Um, yeah, so... I don't care, I just want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, on, on this one, I'm You know sure. what, let's have a look. It is a, um, a new launched brand. So okay. let's see if there is anywhere on my card where I can... Or our card, um, that we can cross this off. Um, let's have a look. It's unusual for a, a male singer to get into makeup, though. We've seen him go for scents and... Mm, it, uh, well, yeah, it's happening yeah. a lot more nowadays. Yeah. So, um, all right, what do we got? More holiday bullshit, collab with someone not known for their makeup. Well, there you go. <laughs> so we are going to cross that one on the list. All right, so let's move... Oh, wait, we got to drink. Oh, drink. Yes. Drink. It's been Sorry. too long. I almost forgot to drink. I think I started early. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is really good. You poured a good one. Mm. Admittedly, it's been months since I had a lot of drinks, so... Well, you know, <laughs> and that bottle's about five years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. I've been busy, you know? Yeah, a bit of a drinker there. <laughs> Maybe 14. Number 14. All right, let's have a look. This is the Glass House limited edition Christmas releases. Okay. So I love glass house candles. Yeah. I really, really yeah. do. Um, a little bit pricey. Um, I don't hate this, but I'm not really a big fan of Christmas smells. Like mm. I don't really like the smell of gingerbread. I don't really care about the smell of um, pine. What do we got here? We have one that's called Dancing Sugar Plums. So I'd assume that would be really sweet. Yeah. Um, we have Christmas morning. I'm not sure if I can yeah, see. Again, I'd rather walk into my house with one of these smells than teenage feet. So. Yeah, well, yeah, there, <laughs> there's that, there's that. Yeah. Uh, spiced apple, red berries, and 
festive spiced biscuit. So, I mean, I can, I can see a market for that, and I think this is really, really cute. It's just a, it's not my sort of scent, but yeah, it would definitely get you in the mood. Um, oh, it'll last you a few years too, because, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, these candles burn for ages, yeah. so... Um, you know, I, I burn a candle for about two hours typically and the house smells like that for the rest of the day. So, yep. yeah, so this, let's see if this is on our list, um, on our bingo card, sorry. Drunk me would buy it. Mm, I don't know. Drunk me wouldn't buy it though. Okay. Um, it's I not think we're luck. Yeah, I don't mm. think, I don't think so. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, look. Drunk me would buy a lot of things, but not a Christmas candle, so <laughs> bugger. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go on to the next one. We need a new number. Number? Yes. Number 11. All right, what's this going to give us? All right, so number 11 is the ColourPop Cosmetics Rudolph uh, release. Right, so we have a bunch of crap, once again, from <laughs> ColourPop, but this is a Christmas theme. This is kind of cute, like if you've got a... I don't know, a 10 year old daughter or something like that, but um, like as a little gift or something, if it wasn't too expensive, yeah. um, or if you're obsessed with Rudolph. But uh, for me, it's just, uh, e mm, nah, I. I suppose not everything could be, you know, holiday themed. You know, mm. yeah, yeah, I mean, it's cute, um, but I think I think it was just another excuse for Carl Pop to find something <laughs> new out, so. Yeah, it's cute, and I guarantee that we're going to be able to drink because it is a ColourPop release. Right. And uh, let's see, let's have a little looky on our... It's a ColourPop release. It's a ColourPop release. Well, yeah, so let's cross that one off. I am waiting. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. You need another one. I do. Yep. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's get another number generated. We are going to go with number 12. All right, so number 12 has in store for us, uh, what do we got here? So we have a palette from, Den we have a palette from Natasha Denona. The drink is not getting to me yet, don't worry. We have a palette by Natasha Denona. This is the limited edition mini Metropolis eyeshadow palette. This is not bad, it's kind of cute. Um, I like that it's small. We got a little uh, example here. That's a nice look. That's cute. So sort of, yeah, it's very um, like the yellowy earth tone sort of thing, and then mm. it's got a blue shoved in there. So mm. yeah. yeah, no, I enjoy that. Um, yeah, interesting colours. Mm. I mean, I like it as a little mini palette. I don't. I've decided that I don't really like big, massive palettes now. I get overwhelmed. So this is cute. It's not something that I would wear. Um, regularly so it would be one of those like little special palettes that i would have yeah. actually i would probably wear this around christmas and holiday time mm. um but yeah i think it's cute i think it's very cute i've been wanting to try natasha denona for quite a few years now but i just can't figure out which palette i actually want to pull the trigger on and that's so. the same sort of one that you know, someone could buy for you you know yeah like, like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's a little expensive though Oh, lucky I'm loaded. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so mm, this is cute. Let's see if we can cross this off our list anywhere, off our bingo card. Mm, I don't think so. No. No. I mean... It's, it's nice, but it's not yeah. standout-ish. Yeah. And, uh, it's definitely not rubbish. So, no, I yeah. mean, it's a beautiful palette, mm. but it's just... It, we can't check it off the bingo mm. card. So let's move on. Let's get another number generated... Oh, there we go. Number 27. We have um, more limited edition. This is Dior. Um, this is a Dior release. So we have, what is that? I don't even know what that is. We've got some lipsticks. We've got a, a Christian Dior, sorry. We've got some lipsticks. We've got a handbag and we have some sort of powder here. This looks very upper classy. Um, mm. I think this handbag is something that my mum would probably buy. Actually, I think this whole set is something that um, my mum might buy. Can you fit a dog in it? <laughs> <laughs> a chihuahua? Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. This, I like um, the detail in the lipstick. Um, actually, 
that pattern there on the handbag and on the, well, the whole pattern there, yeah. my mum had like from a shoulder to toe jacket, big yeah. thick jacket that had that pattern on it back well, in the go. 90s. Yeah. So, and she loved the shit out of that thing. Um, I remember seeing skirts, like all yeah. the clothes. I remember seeing that on everybody. And um, I hated it, so I guess that's why it's a reminder. <laughs> well, there's a winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? We're going to see whether we can cross this off. Is it a bundle deal no one wants? Could yeah. You, I mean, I don't want it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to put mm -hmm. it as a bundle deal that nobody wants. Because well, I definitely don't want this shit. Um, <laughs> nostalgia, <laughs> but not in the best way. Let's move on, shall we, after we have a drink. Yeah. All right, so we are going to generate another number. <laughs> number 22, have we not done that? No. All right, what have we got here? We have a Too Faced release. Um, okay, butterflies, interesting. I could see my auntie absolutely loving this. So we have an eyeshadow palette that I'm not interested in. Um, I don't like the packaging, it's too kind of key for me and I'm, I don't know, I'm just not into the theme that's inside the palette, like... The pastel -y sort of colours. Yeah. yeah, what else do we have? We also have a blush. That's cute, but I wouldn't buy it because it's not for me. It looks more geared towards, you know, teenager. Yeah, they either, <laughs> they either gear it towards children or horny mums, um, you know, because they have, Reliving youth. <laughs> they have this range, like better than sex, you know, they'll, they'll get really corny and, um, yep. you know, with their stuff and then they'll have like this childlike, uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, yuck, I hate the mascara, the packaging, yeah. yeah, I can't stand that. And then we have some lipsticks which don't look too bad, but I yeah, they've got cute little love hearts. Yeah, this is really kiddish, yep. it's not for me, I, I could see a lot of people falling in love with this, but... Once again, I think it's it's more like 10-year-old girl makeup, mm. play makeup. Um, this does not excite me, actually kind of grosses me out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look, see if it is on our bingo card, if we can scratch it off anywhere. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think we can cross this one off, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Okay. The next number we have generated is number 30. We've hit the 30. All right, what have we got? Please be something good. All right, we have a palette from Artist Couture um, called Supreme Nudes the Quickie. So, um, I almost feel dirty for saying that I like that. Yeah, <laughs> actually, the colors are beautiful. Mm. The colors are beautiful. It's a small palette. I don't like the outside. Um, I, yeah, I kind of. It's got boring packaging for the colors that I believe that it has inside is too beautiful for that packaging. You get missing um, your handbag too. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love those colors and I would buy yeah. it specifically for that. The only thing that turns me off is the packaging. Yeah. I've not tried anything from Artist Couture. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, yeah, I really like this. I just wish that the external packaging was as pretty as the internal. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's have a little looky and see if we can cross this off our list anywhere. Um, oh, it, it, it could be a Total Anne palette. So a Total Anne palette is basically like um, basic nudes. And since okay. it is a nude palette, I mean, they're a little bit special, yeah. but it kind of is an Anne palette. So I reckon... I reckon we cross it off on that. It is a beautiful palette, in my opinion. All right, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, it means and a drink, It in. means another excuse to drink, <laughs> so we are going to cross it off as a total and palette. Sweet. Absolutely right. stunning. Great time. Yeah. I think that just made my wish list, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Let's move on to number 42, which is... We have a release from Shantakai. They have launched their hmm, Year of the Tiger limited edition lip veil. Okay. So we have a what looks to be a red lipstick. Yep, it's a red <laughs> lipstick. Although it's quite, it's quite flattering. It's a little bit pinkish. Um, it's not the kind of lipstick that I would gravitate towards. It kind of reminds me of Doll Parts from Jeffrey Star. Mm. But um. It's pretty, like the packaging is pretty. 
then again, you know, I don't know whether all men are the same, but I know I don't like to look at a lipstick and go, if I go anywhere near that, it's going to smear all over my face and come off. So <laughs> if, it, if it looks really, really wet, it, yeah. You know, I'm not a fan of wet lipstick either. Mm. I like the um, the lipsticks that set down, kind of like what I'm wearing at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah I don't like smearing. I don't like my <laughs> hair being caught in it. I don't like any lipstick that sort of looks wet. Yeah. Um, but that's just my personal preference. Mm. Some people absolutely love that shit. Look, it's cute. It's not my thing. Um, there are some things that I do want to pick up from Shantakai, but this is not one of them, although I reckon this is probably going to sell out. Yeah. Um, but it's beautiful, and we will see if we can put this anywhere on the bingo card. I think that we can probably put it on pretty embossing and basic makeup because the the packaging is quite beautiful, okay. even, even if the packaging is a little bit basic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, I reckon. What do you reckon? Yeah, that'll work. Mm, yeah. Let's cross it off anyway. Work. That's the one we're going for. We're going to drink. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. I need another one. All right. All right. All right. So the next number that we have generated is number 40. 40? And that is, hmm, what is that? It's a foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. And it is called, what is it called? The Beautiful Skin Foundation. Radio. All right. Yeah, it looks okay. It looks like a foundation. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a foundation. Um, I'd probably try it, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it's anything special. Let me see if I can... For healthy looking skin, that's all it really says. It's a foundation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this one's just recently been released, so there's not a lot of um, photos Info, available. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, it looks cute. The packaging is cute. So um, let's see if we can cross this one off our list. Let's go. Foundation again. Foundation yep. again. Yeah, right. I reckon we can do that one. So anyway, that one is crossed off. I'm um, sorry, we couldn't give you more information on that one. but All right, so the next one is number eight. All and right. Yep, and this is Nabla Cosmetics, and they have launched the Two Reasons Cream Colour and Glassy Balm Duo for cheeks and lips. It's mm. it's kind of pretty. Um, cheeks and lips. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't think that's something that I would remember that I've got in my stash and go, oh, I just want to grab that and put it on my... Yeah, I don't know, because um, I'm looking at the combinations there and I'm thinking that... that yeah, I think it's too limited. Um, I'm just not sure that's something that I would personally use. I think it's cute. Yeah. Um, but it kind of looks like a, a duo eyeshadow palette to me. Yeah, we have another star. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah. we go. Um, you know what? Let's have a look and see if we can cross this off our bingo card. Okay. Um. Thinking. What bingo card? It doesn't matter. You're not drinking cards. for this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I said what bingo card? This one. Yeah, this one right here. Oh. We are going to. We're going to cross it off as a product that's a catfish because I think that if you gifted this to somebody and it didn't... What's a catfish? <laughs> I think that um, some people would think that it's either just for lips or um, maybe like a mm, cream eyeshadow. Mm. Um but yeah, we're going to cross that one off and we're going to drink and we're going to say bye, Ripley. Thank you, Ripley. Bye, Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. 44. 44. This is a big release. All right, guys. So we have a release from Pat McGrath. Um, we have a lot of stuff here, so by the looks of it... I can never tell. Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath, I don't Pat, know. Yeah, you know, I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't um, know. American, Australian... I don't know, but it looks like we have blushes. Um, we have some highlighters here, this gold one and this um, silver one here. Maybe we've got a screenshot that's bigger. Well, it's probably intentional, but the gold and silver, they look expensive. <laughs> This, yeah. yeah, this whole thing looks expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got a crown on it. Yeah, this yeah. is... Mm. Yeah, that's not your uh, supermarket stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Look, it definitely looks snazzy. Um, 
that's a cute little eyeshadow palette too. And look, typically it's not something that I would buy for myself, but I do reckon that drunk me would buy it. <laughs> um, I reckon I would. So I reckon that we can... I can justify this. Yeah, that's right. So I reckon we can cross that off our bingo no. card and have a drink with that one. Sweet. So there we right. go. We're getting close. We've mm. got two on both lines at the moment. So we're getting close. 26. All right. So the next thing is... This is from Fenty Skin. This is the uh, Glow Instant Retexturizing 10% AHA Treatment and Reusable Applicator. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> um, they, I, I've got to say that their um, photography here of the product looks fabulous. I was, I was actually thinking that. So yeah. We've got it, a good photographer. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Um, so it's obviously got pony, po pony <laughs> It's obviously got pomegranate in it. Um, yeah, you know what, I'd be interested in, I'd be interested in trying this. Okay, so I think the alcohol is, is actually starting to work. Blah. I feel a woozy air! Yeah. Um. You're wearing your slurs? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would be interested in trying this. So this is, um, I believe like a chemical exfoliant. So mm. it's not too aggressive. And this is something that you would use on your face to get rid of like, um, dead skin cells and, and well, rejuvenate skin. So with dry skin yourself, mm. you know, always yeah. looking for the next thing that well, that's right. I mean, I've only tried um, Pixie Glow Tonic, and mm. I don't really, hmm, I don't know about that one. So it'll be definitely interesting to try this and be able to compare the two together. Mm. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely would purchase this. I'm very curious. I want to see if this is on our bingo card. Can we go bingo with it? Uh, of course I'm buying it. Yeah. So there we go. Oh All my right. gosh. Oh, we're only one away. This line has only got one more to go. So mm -hmm. let's move on. Oh, wait, we've got a drink. Oh, yep. Not drink. that I need it. So. Oh, oh. so the next number generated is number 39. And we have a brand called Kayali, um, which is... She's brought out a perfume. This is called Eden, the Juicy Apple. Um, it looks pretty, right? It looks pretty. Uh, I, it's hard for me to talk about perfumes without actually smelling them. Yeah. Um, I'm really, really particular. But a Juicy Apple sounds all right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> not, not offensive. Yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about this Kayali um, chick or brand or anything like that, so I can't really say much about it. Mm. Except um, I can explain a little bit because I have a picture here. Apparently, the keynotes are juicy red apple, lychee, wild berries, jasmine, vanilla flower, and sensual musk. Oh, there we go. You know what? That doesn't sound too bad. Um, but yeah, if I had not done this video, I wouldn't have known anything about it. Yeah. So um, mm, let's see if we can cross this off our list anywhere. I don't think so. No, maybe not. I don't think so. All right, so the next number generated is number one, and we have something else okay. from Rihanna. Um, so <laughs> we have something else from Fenty. Yep. Uh, this is, let me see, the Iconic Highlighter is now in liquid form. It looks pretty. Um... As I said before, though, I'm not a massive fan of liquid makeup unless it's like my foundation. Yeah. But it does look relatively pretty. We've got a few shades here, so we're pleasing a few different skin tones here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cute, but I wouldn't buy it. Um, yeah. It just, it, it looks really messy. I can yeah. see, I can see it all over my hands. <laughs> So anyway, we have Side Chick, which is an opal gold, Vintage Velour, which is a platinum pink, Hustle Baby 2.0, which is peachy champagne, Honey Haughty, Honey Haughty? I think it's a hottie. <laughs> which is copper gold and Butter Brownie in bronze gold. Seems like a lot of work, 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 <laughs> work, work. <laughs> I love, I think it's pretty. Um... I think it's pretty, but I just, it's, it's not for me. Um, yeah. Yep. It's cute. Let's see if we can, can bring it up. I don't know. Same shit, new packaging? Well, kind of. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can cross anything else off. 
Not really. I mean, we either pick same shit, new packaging, or nothing at all. And it is the same shit. It's just in a different. Um... Well, I'm inclined to do it because mm. it gets us closer to. Uh, drink. Yeah, that's right. So that's what we're going to do because it is the same shit. It's just in a different formulation. Mm -hmm. So mm. anyway, here we go. The next number is number. What'd you say? The forty-one. <laughs> forty-one. The forty-one. Yeah. The forty-one. Yep. The forty-one is. From BH Cosmetics has a wrapped up birthstone collection with turquoise for December. So it looks like this is a holiday release. Um, it immediately takes me to Stargate for some reason. Just the, the blues they use in that. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, this is strange to me. Like mm. three blues and the odd mm. brown yellow. I don't like this. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. It's a real mustard. It's not a mustard, not a gold. Yeah, this is strange. I don't like this at all. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really have anything to say to it. I don't understand how those blues would work with the browns or the yellow. They're too dominating, even regardless of skin tone. Yeah. Mm. But you know what? Even the blues are very, very close. Like, once you put those on the eyes, there's not going to be that much difference. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one. BH Cosmetics, huh? Let's see if we can cross it off our list. Um, look more holiday bullshit. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> yeah, there Break we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's pull another number out of the hat. Six. Number six. My eyes are getting heavy. We have a collection here. This collection is by Luna Beauty. And this looks like a face palette and let's see yeah we have an outer dimension face palette um looks like a ufo or a, an old mm, rotary dial phone yeah let's see if we've got any more photos yeah this is interesting i wouldn't buy it <laughs> I, I, I don't think i need all of that like well, well then with the purple it does look like you know a certain chocolate brand we all know but, mm, uh, it's cute but I could see that more for a makeup artist, someone who's going to be working on um, a large amount of people's faces because mm. I could probably only get away with using a few of those powders and then the whole other side is completely irrelevant to me. Yeah. So I don't know who this is for. I mean, um, the brushes, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I don't need those kind of brushes though. Mm. And um, those lipsticks look okay. I mean, they do look very wet though, so it's mm. also another thing that I personally wouldn't purchase yeah. myself. Especially these darker ones. It just like, makes me feel sticky and tacky. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what? Some lip glosses don't feel like that, even though mm. they look like it. But mm. these ones really do look like hair stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's not my bit, jam. Bit <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. I could see someone, um, a makeup artist, you know, using this, yeah. but um, it's not for me. Okay. Yes. So let's see if we can cross this off our list. Yeah, I don't see anything. No. Oh, no. Uh, all right, so the next number is number 31, and we have a collection from Bessame Cosmetics. They Ooh. have revealed their final Ultimate Princess collection, um, Snow White. I, I, I don't know about Princess, but I know that the, the uh, packaging it looks almost retro mm. um, old pocket watch mm -hmm. open up there. I've been eyeing these off for a while. Um, I wanted to get um, the Belle one. Uh, it just didn't happen. So they've brought out all the princesses, you know, Snow yeah. White, Cinderella, Belle, all of that. Yeah. And um, they're quite they're quite cute. I, yeah, um, not so much the lipstick. I wouldn't wear that shade, um, personally. But it's not horrible. Um, and I get it, yeah, Snow White vibes. I reckon somebody will really, really love this. Yeah, yeah it's cute. Yeah. It's It's... I wouldn't buy this one though. Um, I might have brought like, um, I guess a little mermaid one or yeah. the Belle one because I'm a massive Beauty and the Beast fan. But um, <laughs> yeah, so hmm. this one's not for me, but it's very, very cute. And um, I can definitely see people buying it. Uh -huh. So let's see. There's nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. 15. 15. So what does 15 have for us? We only have one picture here. This is from hmm. The Body Shop. All right. So we have a holiday release. 
Um, this is the kindness and pears. Okay, this is a vegan formula. This is a body butter. Um, what else is that? I can't actually see what that is. A body butter, a hand Exfoliation. cream. Exfoliating. Yeah. Mm. I've kind of gone off the body shop. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. Kindness and pears. I, do, I wouldn't buy that because I don't like the scent of pears. Yeah. So, um, they're kind of cringy for me. You know what? Let's just see if we can cross this off our list. Um, <laughs> yes, give us nothing. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? Let's just do it. Yes, yeah. give us nothing because we don't want anything. We don't want anything from you, Body Shop. Yeah. Thank you. Come again. Beauty. I'm yeah, drink. yeah, that's right. Hmm. What about 18? Number 18. We have a brand called Holo Taco have released their... Taco? <laughs> holiday collection of nail polishes. Ooh, I'm hungry too. They're pretty. That's not bad. Yeah, I really like the third um, one at the top. Oh, actually, in the, ooh, actually you know what? I reckon I'd wear them all except for the yellow because yellow is not my thing. That'd go well with cosplay stuff too. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are pretty. Mm. Yeah, I really should do my nails more often. <laughs> it's just, it's just a shame I've got better nails. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is true. Mm. I really think they are cute. So, there you go. I reckon, I reckon we might be able to cross something off. Let's okay. see. Uh, I haven't already brought it. Mm, no. Well, uh -oh. it's almost put it on my face, but it's put it on my nails. But... <laughs> oh, no. There's nothing there. There's nothing there that we can... I, I don't want to call it a true cash grab because yeah, it's not it's really... Mm. Mm. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to have a drink anyway. Yeah, well, but, um... <laughs> we make the rules. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ooh, 25. 25, where are you? This is from Good Molecules. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Essence. Every second word of your, out of your mouth is hyaluronic acid. So you know. Yeah, I, I really love hyaluronic acid. And actually, I really like Good Molecules yeah. as well. I think it's a great affordable brand. And I've seen some good things, some good results from my skin from this brand. So I would definitely purchase this. I think this is quite lovely. Um, and I'm actually due for a new hyaluronic acid. So right. I'm currently using... Uh, what's it called? The Ordinary. I'm using the Ordinary's um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum at the moment, but I'm nearly out of that, so I might actually get some of this. Mm. And let's see, even more uh, skincare? Put it on my face. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Okay. Where's put it on my face? Right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, true, but it is skincare. Yeah, that's right. So. Need more skincare, that'll work. Yeah. yeah. All right. Doesn't matter. You, you squeeze right. it in that bingo card and eat the one you want. Yeah, that's right. Another one off the list and another mm. drink. I'm not yep. sure how much more I can drink. Right. Mm. You might have to cook dinner tonight. Well, that's okay. Ripley can carry us to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we are having chicken and chorizo jambalaya. Oh, it yeah. is phenomenal. If you want yeah. the recipe. It's one of those foods that know. you know you're going to get fat because you can't stop. Oh, you know? it's, it's, it's great. All right, so let's generate another number. Ooh, ooh, 43. 43. Yuck. Well, that's a lot of noise. Yuck. Okay, so this is Scott Barnes Cosmetics. This is a lot for one kit. I don't like the ballerinas. You know what, actually, this reminds me of like that bulk makeup that you could buy when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, and with the fair, uh, not the fairies, with the ballerinas, it almost looks like it, one of those music boxes. Yeah. I mean, it's got everything here. It's got all the blushes you could need. It's got all the, um, well, if you're light skinned like me, it's got all the face pal face palettes. It's got all the face colours that you would need, the bronzers and, and stuff like that. Um, it's, uh, it's like when you go to buy the internet, though, you know, or to get internet. You know, if you've got 50 different players to choose from, which one do you choose? You yeah, know? yeah, this would yeah. overwhelm me in a heartbeat. I wouldn't know what to do with this, and I think there's a lot of repetitive colours in here. Um, yeah, I would not buy this. In fact, I, I wouldn't even buy this for my teenager. I could just see a whole bunch of crushed up colours all over the carpet, mm -hmm. and I just, I think it's too much, to be honest with you. Um, and I absolutely hate the packaging. Yeah. Um, it's bulky too. Yeah, I've not heard of Scott Barnes Cosmetics, so 
I don't know, but I wouldn't buy it personally, so I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Let's see if we can cross it off. Um, no. Mm. No. We might have yeah. to get through the whole 45 here. Well, we've got an oversized Morphe palette, but you know, it's yeah, just an oversized palette. <laughs> that's right. That wasn't Morphe, so yeah. unfortunately, we're going to have to move on and generate a new number well, here. I think number five jumped out. Yeah. All right, number five, we have Juvius's Place. Juvius's, Juvius's Place, they launched their Juvius Place? Juvius Place, yeah. Mm. Olori One palette. Look, yeah. I've brought a palette from Juvius Place before. It was a complete purple one, and they were telling me that the pigment was amazing and everything, and I put it on my face, and I was disappointed. Mm. <clears throat> I really was. I had to build that shit up, and I haven't fucked with that palette since. So now yeah. I'm kind of nervous about Juvius Place, um, which... I'm I'm confused by it because this brand, um, I believe, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that it was brought out for women of colour. Mm. So I would think that the colours would definitely be um, more punchy so they stand out on darker skin. So they, they really shouldn't have a problem on my white ass. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, well, it is an ethnic sort of... Um... Yeah, tri very tribal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the packaging is beautiful. Yeah. The yeah. packaging is beautiful. It's just not my colour theme. Um, although I really I really do like that colour, but just not on my eyes. It clashes <laughs> yeah. with my colour. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is not for me, yeah. um, unfortunately. I mean, it. yeah, I, I could see a lot of people loving this, but I just not for me. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's see if we can cross it off our list. Um, no. No. Oh, the Shreen and number generator needs a kick in the butt. Uh, it, yeah, it does. We, we might get, as I said, through 45 of these products. It is crazy. All right. It, it says 24, yep. but... All right. Yep. All right. Let's have a look at this. This is... Oh, I love Lethal Cosmetics. <laughs> so Lethal Cosmetics has brought out nine multi-chrome shadows. Sweet. So we have... FRB, which is kind of gold, um, gold to yellow. Um, actually, a lot of them are very similar. We've got um, Event Horizon, which is sort of like a purplish mauvey to what is that? I don't know. Good movie there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, these are interesting. Um, oh, they're really going the sci-fi. Yeah, know, line, yeah. These are cute. I think I'd like to try one of these. I'd, I've never actually had a multi-chrome, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I Ooh. think they are cute. I think I saw a chrome thing on the on the uh, video I card. I think you are but right. All the multi-chromes. Oh, multi oh look! Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Bingo! Bingo! Cheers. Oh, look oh, at that. Look, I yeah. can that. <laughs> mm. Well, that was meant to be. <laughs> yes, let's cross that off. Wow. There you go, guys. So... I don't know how many makeup items we got through them, but I think we nearly got through all 45 of them. I really do hope that you got something out of this. I want to keep on doing these videos. I really enjoy our time together, and I like talking shit about brands anyway. So, plus it helps me know what's out there. Because mm. um, sometimes, you know, we don't take the time for ourselves, and it's quite nice just to sit here and, you know, spend a little bit of time Indeed. talking, drinking. Alone, without the kids bullying us <laughs> at all. Mm. Yeah. So, when you go away, guys, oh. Gosh, I can't talk. Anyway, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you join us for our next Makeup Nonsense Bingo video Indeed. in the future. Thank Bye, you. guys.